welcome back to 40 Pints, where we drink like the booze is free. I'm here this morning with Elizabeth. She is one of our business development managers. Uh, we're doing a 40 Pints out of Tampa, and Elizabeth is very shy, so this yes. is really hard for her to very do. Very shy, very shy. So, um, and you've been working for us almost a year now, right? I know, my yeah. anniversary's coming up. This is very exciting. So, um, Let's well, talk about my gift. No. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Why don't we start there? Okay, fun times. Um, I am a mother of four. Yep. Um, and so that's really fun and awesome. I've been in the marketing space for, I'm gonna date myself now, 22 years, basically. So, um, love what we do, love digital. Yep. Very passionate about it. Yep. Really don't even feel like it's a job, to be honest. Um, and so, um, that's pretty much it. Tell me about some of the industries you've worked with before Kraus. Um, I worked in sports and entertainment for a long time, yeah. which was really fun. I got to stand on the sidelines of the national playoff games, the college playoff. Yeah. I got to do confetti That's angels cool. on the 50-yard line. That's cool. I lost my cell phone. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Not really. Um, I also worked with a couple of pretty big celebrities and retired athletes and like athletes in you know professional spaces. Nice. So I got to party with rock stars yeah. occasionally, which was kind of cool. Yeah. But, That's you know, awesome. Yeah. What's fun. um so so you. You've, you've watched the industry evolve quite a bit. Yes. Right? Yes. So, um, and in 22 years, I should have added in a joke about how you started in middle school, right? <laughs> but You're too any, any, <laughs> anyway, um, tell me about what's exciting right now for you. What's exciting right now for me is um, TikTok and e-commerce. Yeah. So I have these times where I get like super passionate about uh, specifically like before it was Facebook when advertising started because mm -hmm. we can make a ton of money, right? Yep. Um, Any way we can make money using these platforms mm -hmm. is always exciting. Um, but I see a lot of really big opportunity inside the TikTok platform. Yeah. And then obviously through e-commerce yeah. because if you have a website that's generating revenue 24/7, you wake up to cash in your sure. you know yeah. in your bank account. Yeah. So who wouldn't want that? Um, so right now, I think that's where my focus is. I know we're doing a lot with Kraus right now, obviously, yep. trying to um, really understand the platform yep. and position ourselves as experts. I mean, we've always been crushing it with e-com, and I love TikTok. I 100%. think it's just an awesome opportunity to drive traffic and drive more awareness about your brand yep. and build like a brand story, and I, it's, it's quite the platform. So one thing about TikTok is a lot of people think it's a little bit young and it skews young, but we've learned that that's not true, right? Oh, this is my favorite. Yeah, so the demographic is actually very well spread out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, before it was, when it was a Musical.ly was the app, it got yep. acquired. That was when it was like 13 year olds doing dance yep, videos. Right. But now it's become, um, you know, the ages of 20 to 50. We're looking at, so I know we've been working with a couple brands uh, and a couple of your clients specifically. Yeah. What uh, tell me about a, a client on TikTok that we've done that you know that you thought was pretty cool? So um, real estate, obviously, we do a ton in the real estate yeah, development we space. We have a lot yep. of customers there, um, but it's a great space. It makes for great video content. Yeah. All right, and obviously in Florida and Tampa too, and most of the United States, the markets are. Booming. Booming. Yep. Um, so we had a client who really well known, um, actually in the Jersey tri-state area up there, um, but big corporation, um, and we they wanted to be TikTok famous. They wanted to do stuff on yeah. TikTok. So it was really fun. We got to work with them for a really long time to drive brand awareness to a. a, a not only their real estate brand, yep. but also a product that they were offering to consumers. Um, and so the analytics and the data that came back were astounding, yeah. to be honest. I mean, I'd been on the platform before, but this was a this was a really fantastic case study. A lot of money can be made, a lot of brand awareness yeah. can be generated. The posts are still really good organically right now too. Hundred percent. Right. So when new platforms come yeah. out, they want you to get attention. You use those right, right hashtags yeah. and those yeah. sound overlays, yeah. I mean, and you pretty much can get millions of views yeah, yeah, tens on of, like tens of a video you make in your least. kitchen. Yeah, right? Exactly. Tens of Put thousands some at least. Yeah. Money behind it yeah. and, and advertise oh, with a real like yeah. call to action. And as a brand, whether you're B2B yeah. or B2C. And I don't think people realize how important it is to get on a platform early because this is your opportunity to beat your competition to all that equity in real estate Correct. that is available on that platform. 100%. And early on a platform, they want you to get views because they want other 
advertisers to come in Correct. to actually spend that money before they can get people to spend money they do it really organically which is TikTok still in that infancy stage Correct. where they're allowing businesses to get a ton of views organically then you throw some cash on it mm -hmm. and I mean the traffic has been really great for our clients yeah. and and I think a lot of people think about TikTok and dancing like you said it's right. just you know, it could be thought leadership content, it could be how you do content. Um, the, the videos also allow for longer content now too, right? Yeah, it's up not to just 10 like minutes. one minute anymore, yeah. right? So. Up to 10 minutes, which is insane. So, I mean, you could do, I mean, you could do like a, a, a small short film right. <laughs> in 10 minutes, right. you know, or like a clip. But yep. um, yeah, so you can do anywhere from five, seven, 15 yeah, seconds up to 10 minutes, depending right. on what the content is. Um, it's a great platform yeah. right now. Um, and we've seen B2B companies do it, yep. B2C companies like you were talking about, um, developers, contractors, uh, but out of that arena, service companies. It's I mean, not industry agnostic like yeah, us, right? Yeah, we, right? We work with all industries, so right. the platform itself is not just specific to like a brand right. in one particular area. Right. You know, yep. People always ask, like, well, how do businesses make money? How do B2B? I mean, really, it comes down to brand awareness and messaging, right? right? What, what are you trying to put out there? And right. there's a lot of really big brands. Like one of my favorites is Shopify, yep. um, and they use user-generated content. Yeah. So they're a B2B and a B2C type of business. And they use people who are using the platform that are business owners, whether it be Kylie Cosmetics is one of their right. biggest partners. Um, and they use their content on their pages and yeah. their platform to drive more awareness and traffic, but to show the success of what their product is, right. which course. is huge, yeah. right? So they're not even having to tout their own praise. They're just using yeah. and leveraging their database yeah. of their customers. And these social media channels have so much ability for targeting, which TikTok has obviously still yeah. too. Um, so so I appreciate you chatting and doing this in Tampa. Is there a brand you want to shout out that you would like to work with down here? Okay, so I've been watching this brand for a while. I get served their ads on Instagram and yep. TikTok, um, probably for about the last 18 months, but it's Hammett. It's a purse company. They're okay. doing some affiliate marketing right now with some of the um, stars on Selling Sunset. Yep. Um, but their their bags are amazing. I watched a, a webinar I participated in with Shopify and NetSuite recently. Always trying to stay on the cutting edge of technology. Yeah. I like to be really educated and at the forefront of the innovation. Um, but Hammett is a brand that is, I don't even think they've really hit their prime yet. And their products and the design and their user experience are off the chart. So yeah. I would love to be able to work with them on yeah. TikTok because they go. have amazing content um, awesome. and products that I think are, are for the everyday person oh. up to the billionaire. You never know. Maybe they'll see this video. Woohoo! <laughs> I appreciate awesome. it, Elizabeth. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. Thank you.